welcome to Miami. We're schwitzing. It's wonderful. I love it. I love it. <laughs> you love the sweating? I, I do, actually. Sweating is good, and this is, it makes me feel at home because this is where all the old Jews go. <laughs> so I feel very comfortable here. So speaking of old Jews, yes. this performance, no pun intended, you called it the best performance of your life. I feel like you might be selling yourself a little short on some of the other roles, but why do you feel that way? I believe that this is my best performance because it, the, the character itself uh, has to go through more than any character I've ever played. Um, and he is accessible to everyone because he has this incredible conundrum. Uh, he desperately needs success and needs to progress in this life and ultimately compromises everything and sells his soul to do it. And it's a cautionary tale. I like where you're going with this answer without giving it too much away. Now, you, this is obviously a special story for you. Your mom found the story of yeah. Arthur Miller's. But what makes this so meaningful to be a part of? Uh, well, all of it, really. Um, you know, uh, it, it's it's this film is accessible to anyone who has grappled with these problems. Um, I grew up in a theater family, and um, my sister directed me in this. And uh, believe it or not, I produced it and hired her, which is strange, <laughs> being the younger brother. Um, Did you behave? Um, I, 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 ironically, probably behaved too much. Um, and that's the that's the irony of, of all this. I think um, wanting to have her feel totally empowered to direct, I forgot that I was a producer, and I just fell into that old uh, journeyman actor vibe where I had no power. When the reality is, there were times when I could have gone, "Wait a minute, I'm the producer." <laughs> like what? what cut, cut this. Wait, what the? <laughs> um, no, but so yes, I did. You know, it's. You know, the, 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 this film that everyone will see is a miracle. Um, they're, they're not making independent films that are period pieces, that are big, lush, sweeping movies, you know, because no one wants to take the chance. And that's why it took me 14 years to put this film together. And 10 years to learn how to tap these. Yeah, and the more they said no, the better I got at tap, which is kind of a lesson for all of us. <laughs> you know, if they keep saying no, you're going you're gonna to get stronger. I mean, this has turned into a really, really bad TED Talk. <laughs>